So today, we're hitting up Tow Truck Golf. Hopefully get into some iron builds, got some new thick old grips going on as well. So we're gonna get out, hit some shots, get dialed in. Been waiting to get these shafts in for a while, guys. All right, so, whoa, dynamic gold. We got the X7. So, we're supposed to be getting these built up before lockdown, all that kind of stuff. Hey, it'll be worth the wait. Can't wait to try them out. I'm gonna match them up with the Jumbo Max that got loaded up and delivered this morning, guys, all right? That's gonna be a thick old build. I know it's a little bit Bryson DeChambeau, but hey, I can relate. So guys, we hit some balls. We got the spec all together. Let's have a quick little look into the workshop. True turban style. It's all going on. Let's check out these clubs. There's a the team right now. So me and Tim tell them it. Let's get to work. But irons and wedges. So. In terms of the build, right now we're staying with my favorite muscle back irons because I love them. All right, these are fresh. I had a couple of sets. These are all good, guys. All right, we have Dynamic Gold X7. So, my guys at Project X, True Temper, hugely appreciate everything they do. They wanted me to try this shaft out. Low launch, lower than the X100. We get it all going on. So, we got the X7s in there, and then a big thank you to Jumbo Max Grips. They wanted me to get into these ultralights, want to try it out. And basically, with the whole build, we haven't gone one length, but we have gone three quarters over length, which is what I'm used to. And in a change for me, we've actually gone a degree flat. So, basically, I'm able to, the plan is to be able to turn through as hard as possible on these, turn the body, rotate, and not see the ball go left, ever. We don't like left, okay? So I wanna be able to fully rotate through, compress, <laughs> get after it. So guys, so far, we've hit wedge, we've hit nine iron. Feels pretty good, feels pretty good. It'd be nice to get some turf interaction later on, but I'm turning through super hard. I'm not worried about the heel anymore, and I'm not worried about any kind of draw. I don't like to see irons draw. It takes me out of my kind of control, comfort level, whatever we want to look at. And right now, I can turn the body as hard as I want to. The clubs are delivering. Flying the 9 iron, real nice distance, and there's not an ounce of draw on that ball, which I'm pretty excited about. So, talking about the build, guys, the X7, Feels pretty comfortable. Uh, I've played Dynamic Gold X100 for a long time. This is just a slightly meatier, thicker version, slightly lower spin. And again, I think I'll see that more when we get out onto the turf, take some big old divots and see how the flight works out. Okay, in terms of the build, going flat and combining that with the Jumbo Max grips, that's a pretty big change because the hands, obviously with a bigger grip, you're gonna, as a basic general thought, you're gonna have less wrist action, okay? You're not gonna hinge as much, probably not gonna rotate the face as much. And again, I'm basing that on my strengths. So physically, again, my power comes from my legs, from the core, and I'm trying to use all of that to get power into the ball, okay? So the final and wide of the wrists is something that for me, is just all part of the sequence, okay? So this is working out right now. So I've only hit a few, I can't wait to test them out on the course, but basically I load up, 
I turn, the ball doesn't go left, and it's more or less hitting the target every single time. So there'll be a few toe strikes with a new flat lie. That's for me to get used to and to work on. But basically, this is right now allowing me to commit more in terms of the turn without that fear of going left, which, as I said before, is hugely important for my game. So a little trackman action, guys. We've got some numbers on the five iron. Definitely got some technical things to be working through. Let's say I felt like the game's been a little off for the last week or two, but we got some numbers to look at. All right, so hopefully y'all can see us there. So 98 mile an hour club head speed, launch angle 13.7, carry 203 total 210, which, you know, for a fasted Friday morning, it's not too bad. Uh, one thing I do definitely need to look at, attack angle. That was minus 1.5. We probably need to be more like three or four to begin the control, to get in the flight and the compression that I really want. So, to hit a couple more. So, flushed that last ball. That was pretty much how I wanted it to feel. It was all good. Numbers right here. Dispersion, a little all over the place. But, again, we're just getting lined up, just getting started out, guys, all right? Club speed, 98.7, averaging 98, pretty good, down with that. Uh, ball speed, pretty good, launch angle's coming down a little, attack angle, still 1.5. So, averaging at 2.1, so I'm making some kind of progress. But again, I need to work on that, I need to be compressing the ball. And to be fair, again, when I get on the course, as you've seen, there's a lot of knockdown shots happening anyway. So, that one there, carry 212, total 220, which... Again, those are pretty good numbers in terms of how I want my 5-iron to go. Taking into account course conditions whatnot, it's a pretty good place to be. Okay, guys, this is a club I'm excited about. 2-iron, we've got the hazardous up in there. Like I said, P790. Second shot out. First one, turned over a little bit much. Second... We got out there. All right, so 102 club head speed, attack angle, 70.8, but 246 carry, 260 total. I think we can build on that. So guys, pretty disappointed with the driver numbers. I've mostly just hit hooks, to be honest. The swing does not feel as though it's on. That last one was reasonable. But we got a ton of spin. I'm not sure how accurate it was at well, 4,000 spin. Club speed 113, way off where I would expect to be. Carry 272, total 294. It's pretty much uh, where I was expecting two iron to be. So, like I said, I'm going to hit a few more. The swing definitely needs some work. I'm not hitting anything like I want to, but I need to build that speed up because uh, I want to see much higher than that. That's what I would have expected. So, hey, time to work. Following a little better, guys, just kind of working on up. Again, just about 114 club speed, carry 285, 307 top. Still way off. Didn't match the speed. Uh, belt, sorry, spin rate, we didn't quite get that one. Ball speed's up over 170. Obviously, we're looking at 200. Let's work. All right, guys, so wrapping it up there for the time being. Lots to think about. Those grips, the whole build. There's definitely some potential there. It's, uh, I can't wait to get out on the course, see how it's going to look, see how it's going to feel, and just see how the ball's going to fly because I did not see any go left. Now, as I said, really quite disappointed with the driver performance. Speed wasn't there, but it also felt totally weird with the grip and everything else we've been doing preparation-wise is going to be taken into account, but more or less, I was just getting hooks out there, body was off wasn't too good so that is going to be built on and i'm going to make sure that is changed guys all right is that jumbo max going to go on the drive as soon as i get back probably we're going to try it out guys all right so wrap it up i'm going to take them to the course in not too long i'll put in a few swings there as well
All right, guys, let's talk what's in the bag. So we have the full custom build at Tour Truck Golf. Everything's lined up. It looks beautiful, guys. All right, so first things first, this is an experiment. All right, so extremely fortunate to be able to try this equipment out. And we got a certain build going on, all right? So we haven't fully got into the woods just yet. So you know my driver. We put a video up about it not too long ago. We got the sim tow van head. We got it cranked down to 7.4 degrees and it's got the hazardous smoke green 70 gram TX. All right, right now, this is still riding my tow velvet cord. Like I said, we've been testing out the irons and that's what we're gonna look at right now. Okay, three wood is still under construction. So next up is the two iron. And I talked about this a little bit. This thing is pretty legit okay the tm p790 head that's awesome nice thin top line not massive and it is hot man it's hot it comes off really fast off that face we just had it built up now with the hazardous smoke 100 x hybrid shaft legit as well all right i haven't had graphite in an iron uh at least that i can remember and this thing feels real good really good all right solid Ball speed's right up there. And this one does have the Jumbo Max Max Ultralight. So, like I said, this is where the kind of experiment comes in. We've built a set of irons, including this one here, that can't go left, all right? Basically can't go left, guys, all right? And we got that all the way through. We've built them up into my favorite muscle back. So I had a couple of sets of these. So really fortunate to be able to put these in play. And these have the Jumbo Max as well, but they've got the Dynamic Gold X7. So, it's like a juiced up X100, guys. Less spin, and it's going to be obviously pretty stiff in that uh, in that regard. So, with the grips, with the shafts, went slightly flat on the lie angles as well. These clubs for me cannot go left. Okay, and that's kind of what we're looking at here. I want to test out exactly how they feel. It's going to be a different swing. It's going to be a different kind of impact, but it's going to allow me to turn my body as much as possible, commit to the shot and know that it's not going left, okay? So it's definitely something that we're gonna be working on and I'm gonna keep on testing out exactly what works and exactly how this is gonna help me moving forwards, all right? So shafts feel great. I'm very used to the X100s at this point. The X7s, just a slight step up there. They feel solid, man, all right? The grips, they are so much thicker than anything you have tried before, guys, all right? So. It takes the hands out of it, takes out those variables right there. And if you can then create the kind of speed and compression you need, basically through body turn, you're taking out a variable in terms of that release, in terms of the hands going through, that could see the ball going offline, all right? And that's what we're gonna test out. These are gonna take some time to get used to, and it's gonna take some time on the course to figure out exactly if they're gonna fit my game and how they feel. We've got the wedges in there as well. The thick grips there, in terms of short game, again, you think of someone like Steve Stricker, there's really not much going on in the hands. Thick grips are probably gonna help out with that, all right? And I think that's what I would say starting out. These are definitely the best quality I've had in terms of super jumbo grips. Feel awesome. Because they're so light, obviously they don't throw off the swing weight from being so much bigger, and that's a huge benefit, guys, all right? So I would try these out. If you don't wanna see the ball go left, or if you need something to make your hands more comfortable, definitely worth getting a pair a set of these lined up see how they feel so you see that shot there guys i literally turned as hard to the left as i could the hands were ahead i got all that compression and the ball did not even think about going to the left Right, guys so let's wrap this up this is an experiment we've got some amazing builds in here true template jumbo max it's all going on guys all right i've hit some good shots tonight i've hit some right shots tonight as well but i've hit some good ones and it's teaching me a little bit about my swing how i'm bringing the club into the ball and how i can do that better moving forward so keep an eye on the feeds guys all right let's see if these make the bag long term I've got more work to do. I need to get some numbers. I need to track it all out. And I need to understand if this is gonna be the best move for my game. But what can you learn? Number one, if 
find the best fitting service possible guys all right it makes all the difference to your game to your confidence and you know that the clubs are going to do exactly what you need them to do number two if you want to stop the ball going left some super thick grips and a custom build to do so is probably going to do the trick number three get out and do the work guys all right that's what it's all about that's what i intend to do now i need to see if i can flight these in get them doing what i want to do so i can go and shoot some good scores all right Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe, jump on, drop your comments in tonight on the social feeds going forward to see if Thick Boys Golf Club stays in the bag. Let's go play some golf, y'all.